So far guys, on the strainer, we got our saddle. So we know the flow is running across here, so we gotta match our centers of this pipe to this pipe. So I messed up on this line, this line is incorrect. This was the center of the 14 inch, but we're working with a 12, 12 inch pipe here, so this is our center. Uh, you gotta match that and match the center of this pipe. So this center, you gotta match that center. And this center, you gotta match that center. Now those centers are very important because those are gonna dictate which way our level is gonna be and our two holes or our flanges. Our cap is not really that special. You know, we just gotta double these out and slap it on there and weld it out, purge it, whatever. Um, nothing special about this cap. As long as it's welded, we, we'll be fine. But this right here, it's got a lot to do with it because we got a certain measurement we got to fit from this face to the bottom of that face. So some crucial measurements going on here. Got a two hole this flange, 14 inch slip on. Got that capped out already. Get the roof pass in there and everything. I'm good. So now what we gotta do is install. Well, one thing quick, guys. Uh, I kind of messed up. I got a couple projects going on at the same time, so kind of got carried away. Started cutting into the pipe. I could have just went ahead and welded the cap on there. It would have been easier. I didn't have to cover this holes that was pretty idiotic so take your time sometimes can't rush things uh up next we got this flange going on but uh some of you guys been asking me about my job and yeah i do welding and fabrication but most of the times i'm always kind of planning what's ahead ordering material talking to vendors getting quotes things of that nature so it's not just i come here to weld uh i really don't like welding to be honest with you guys i like fabrication but as far as the job goes i like planning for my jobs so this like i said before guys this is a small plant so a lot of the jobs i do i draw them up myself come up with the game plan order material uh, decide what material we're gonna use so it's pretty much up to me what we do out here they're they're pretty they're I guess they're giving me a lot of uh, responsibility but I see it I see it as leniency so they're they're cool with whatever I, I need and I'm as far as tools goes and everything of that nature so if you guys are interested in a job like this make sure you learn how to rig up bolt up fabricate weld any kind of metal and proficient with computer work because you will be doing a lot of a lot of computer work a lot of office work as well so yeah guys 
let's continue on with this build. All right, guys, well, talking about planning, I'm getting too ahead of myself. I think I gotta call it quits for the day. I was outside pulling measurements for a line that we're gonna be changing on the shutdown in October, helping the mechanics install a shaft on a fan, on a blower fan. This is a common mistake we make, get ahead of ourselves. So instead of wel welding this flange on here, so it's not really in my way, I'm gonna have to stop and wait to install this flange till the end. Cause I could always flip this upside down and weld it flat, even, even when I have this flange on here already. So we're gonna hold off on this 14 inch flange here and we're gonna go ahead and start installing our saddles and welding them up. So probably get started to weld these up real quick and then probably go ahead and install these flanges. I'll, I'll go ahead and install this flange after I get done with the saddle install the flange and then I'll install both of the flanges on the saddles. The reason why I didn't install the, the flanges on the saddles was, well, if you guys ever welded stainless steel, you know how it is. You weld one side is gonna pull the other, I mean, pull to that side, weld the other side is gonna pull to the other. So it's never, it's never too down perfect. I want this piece to come out perfect because it's a drop-in spool and I have no, no leeway, no, no, no room to kind of mess up in here so we're gonna go ahead and weld the saddles if i would have welded the flanges to the saddles before i would have had to be so precise on my welding so specific on my heat and i didn't want to you know have all those things to worry about so we're gonna leave these flanges to the end once we get these welded we'll figure out the levels again and 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 the measurement from face of this flange to the face of the other flange. That's how we're gonna plan it out, guys. We're not planning good today, man. It's hot as hell, it's probably like 110 degrees out here. Try to have uh, some more some more ventilation, but this is it, man. We're sweating our balls off over here. We we'll call it quits for today. Come back tomorrow. Peace. This is what we got so far, as far as the uh, the welding goes and the fabrication. We got both saddles welded in there, in place. And now all we're gonna have to do is install all three flanges, and we're pretty much pretty done here, guys. All we gotta go do is install it, and, and hopefully it fits. <laughs> I right, will go fit. But once we got all the flanges done, we pretty much, pretty much wrapped up with this project. So what we're doing here, we're matching that level on these two holes, two hole pins. So you gotta go down that way a little bit. And we need 22 and a quarter Cross from this flange to this flange, we got 22 and a quarter. We're good right there. So we're gonna go ahead and tack that one, set it level, and hopefully we can get the right measurement here without having to cut any of the pipe. So we need 22 and a quarter. Let's get it. A quick explanation of fit this flange, guys. Basic level, two hole pins with the pipe running across. And to square this with the pipe, all you gotta do is measure from here to here, and from here to here. Make sure y'all get the same measurement, and that'll be pretty much it. Welding with some Mexico steel, baby. Hell yeah.
can't really walk the cup on there. You gotta be able to drag that motherfucker in there. So, just turn it up to about 180 amps and do a little back and forth kind of ordeal to make sure you're fusing down to the bottom toes and the top toes of the weld. And that's it. I dropped the goddamn pot before I put, I put the 14 inch flange on there and it bowed up a little bit. I have a hard time getting that flange in there. Look at that gap in there. It's bowed up. I was only able to get it about half an inch in. That's why we have this, this big lip in here. But uh, that measurement is really not gonna affect anything since this is where the blind's gonna go. This is where you pull the strainer out. So this distance from the face of the flange to the center of the inlet and outlet won't really matter. It's just aesthetics, guys. This don't look very attractive in my opinion, but that's the kind of things that happen whenever you're working on your own, man. I needed to move this goddamn piece by myself, and you know, one person can only do so much. So, we'll go ahead and weld it though. Come on with it.